Hi, I'm Angie and I want to show you how you can make chocolate at home without any fancy equipment. This is already part three of this series. So if you haven't checked out um, the video about roasting cr and cracking and winnowing, just go ahead and watch it first. Today we want to refine our cacao nibs. What does refining mean? We basically just grind down um, the particle size of the cacao nib and sugar and whatever ingredients we put in there as well. Our chocolate won't be smooth. It will be really similar to a stone ground chocolate. At least that's the goal. Like I already told you, I've never made stone ground chocolate before like that, so I'm excited too. If you're like, oh my god, I don't want to roast cacao beans, I don't want to crack them, I don't want to winnow them, that's all too much hassle for me. And then I have great news for you, uh, because you can simply just buy cacao nibs in a store. And if you want to do that, I would recommend using uh, the cacao nibs from Trader Joe's. I believe they're from Colombia. Yeah, from Colombia. I find that they're tasting okay, so um, I would go for them. Um, those are four ounces. Yeah, those are four ounces, and I believe they cost between two fifty to three dollars. That's a really good price point. You can also get my cacao nibs on my website if you want a more interesting flavor profile. I want to show you two recipes today. The first one is a basic stone ground um, dark chocolate and the second one is more like a trail mix stone ground dark chocolate. Um, I love to go hiking so I'm looking forward to um, eat it on our next hike. Yeah, I just want to give you a couple of more insights how I come up with recipes like that and yeah, here we go. After roasting, cracking and winnowing, we still have 900 grams of cacao nibs. We lost about 20% during the process, which is totally fine. We actually haven't talked about tasting notes yet. Um, that's why I want to do it right now. So those are the cacao nibs we, um, we've been working on the last couple of days. And um, yeah, I just want to try a couple of them. They taste like walnuts, pecan, strawberries, and I would say figs. I think I also roasted them too long, so they're um, uh, like quite a little bit toasty, but that's not unpleasant or anything. This is important because I want to show you two recipes, right? The first one will be a basic one, the second one will be a trail mix. And um, since I have a quite good balance between um, yeah, fruitiness and nuttiness, I can add some dried berries and almonds, which will complement the whole flavor profile. But that's the recipe two. Let's start with recipe one. Recipe one, that's our basic. So we have the 900 grams of cacao nibs, right? And we want to make two recipes. So for the first recipe, we have 450 grams of cacao nibs. I also want to add a little bit of cocoa butter because I'm not sure about how liquid everything in my mixer will, will become. So we will just add 5% um, cacao butter. We also need sugar. I don't like it too sweet, but I believe that the sugar will benefit the, the texture as well. So I want to use 30% um, of sugar, which leaves us uh, with 65% of the cacao nibs. This is a 70% dark chocolate. Um, so if you're talking about percentages of, of chocolate, this will come from the cacao nib and cacao butter. And if we just calculate that really quick, then we have 35 grams cacao butter and 210 grams of sugar, which makes almost 700 grams of chocolate. Doesn't sound too bad. Awesome. Okay, well, let's put everything in the mixer and um, see how it goes. We start with the 450 grams of cacao nibs. First we want to melt cacao butter. So this is cacao butter and we want to melt it. You can simply melt it either in your microwave or in a pot in your stove. Whatever works for you. I will add the sugar a little bit later. Well, I will start with the lowest speed and we'll try to get uh, to the highest speed 
am for a minute. So that's my plan. We'll <laughs> see how, that, how it goes. Okay, that worked pretty well. Um, maybe you need to be a little bit patient. Um, but now we have um, a paste. That's what I wanted to get. That looks pretty good actually. Now we can add the sugar. And do the same thing again. I love the texture and I think it's a great basic recipe. That's pretty good. Mmm, that's really good. This is our recipe one. Recipe one. And we just scrape everything on parchment paper. So in case you don't have a blender or a mixer, I think you can also do it with an immersion blender. That shouldn't be an issue at all. You can also just use a motor. We're done with the recipe one for today. So we just allow it to cool down. Okay. Recipe number two. This will be my fun recipe. I would call it um, trail mix chocolate. Uh, we still have our 450 grams of nibs. I still want to use 5% of cacao butter. We still need sugar, but I also want to add almonds and dried berries. Yeah, to complement uh, the whole recipe. I want to reduce the sugar a little bit um, because we already have dried berries, which makes it, um, which makes our chocolate sweeter. So let's just take 25% of sugar, 10% of almonds and 10% of dried berries. Why 10%? No idea. I just want to try it like that, which leaves us with 50% of cacao nibs. You don't want to use um, less than 25% of cacao fat and cacao nibs contain 50% of fat, which means if we use 50% um, in our recipe, 25% of that will be fat. And we also have the cacao butter, which is totally 100% of fat, which means 5% of fat, right? If we add those two numbers, we have 30% of fat, so we are above the 25%. We should be able to temper our chocolate in the next step. And just calculate that through, so we have 41 grams of cacao butter, 205 grams of sugar, 82 grams of almonds and same for dried berries. And we have 860 grams of chocolate. Awesome. So I'm really excited about that one, how that one turns out. Let's start with recipe number two. No, I didn't clean up my, uh, my mixer because I'm way too lazy. And we start with the exact same recipe. We add all the cacao nibs into the mixer, then we add the melted cacao butter. If you want to eat the best brown in your life, try the recipe number two. I made it way too thick, so next time I will add more cacao butter. Um, it's fine for now. I think I will, will be able to temper it if I heat it up again, but this is so good. You can add whatever you want. I use dried berries and almonds, but of course you can add cinnamon, chili, pepper, salt, whatever you can think of. But a heads up, um, don't use anything water-based because this will seize your chocolate. That's it for today. We have our two chocolates and next episode I will show you how you can temper your chocolate. If you liked my video, hit the subscribe button and follow me on Instagram.